Good day everyone and have a pleasant day to you sir. I am Kimberly P. Salvo and I am a third year computer engineering student. So today we are going to talk about one of the version of Linux, Fedora 36. So let's go to the introduction of Fedora 36. What, what is Fedora 36? Fedora 36 is a rounded release that many users should find exciting. It offers the cutting edge so for Fedora is known to bring yet doesn't falter in terms of performance and stability. With a canonical just releasing Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, it will be interesting to see how Fedora competes with the Ubuntu for desktop share. So, over the years, Fedora has felt less and less like an operating system that should only be used by those with plenty of experience. And with the release of Fedora 36, it's now time to label the distribution for what it has become, an outstanding operating system regardless if you've used Linux or not. So let's go to the features of Fedora Linux 36. Fedora has a reputation for being innovative and providing leading-edge tools. And version 36 continues with this trick while still proving to be a solid system. The following section outlines the major new features of Fedora Workstation 36 and the desktop version of Fedora. So number one of the list in the features of Fedora 36 is the updated Genome desktop. The, the new Fedora release comes with the latest version of Genome 42, which offers several performance benefits and new exchanges. Many popular Linux apps have been ported to GTK 4 for increased style, while there are also two new apps, the text editor and console. So as you can see in the picture, this is the example of um, updated Genome uh, desktop. So as you can see at the picture, this is the example of updated Genome desktop. So next, users running Nvidia's propriety drivers can now enjoy Wayland by default. It gives better hardware acceleration in terms of graphical fidelity. The handling of input events has been improved, resulting in lower input latency and increased system responsiveness under load. So, let's go to the second on the list, is the refresh look and feel. So, as you can see in the picture, this is the um, example of new features in Fedora 36. It's more... Um, stylish and um, have will have a good experience using this operating system. Gino Michel features a refresh look and feel with rounder and more clearly separated elements throughout. All the symbolic icons have been updated and the top bar is no longer rounded. So next, the universal dark move. Fedora 36 ships with an all-new dark mode which applies a dark theme to all applications that support with this color, color scheme. The out-of-the-box wallpapers also offers dark mode variants for a more cohesive user experience. So as you can see here, this is the example of where you can find in the settings to um, to use a dark mode in the Fedora 36 operating system. The dark theme looks terrific, reduce strain on the eyes, and helps save the battery life of your devices, especially if you're on OLED screen. You can set the dark mode as default by going to settings and then click appearance. Okay, so next, let's go here in new screenshot menu. The screenshot interface has been updated to provide a better user experience and simple things. Pressing the print screen key no longer saves the current screen by default. Instead, it 
it shows a new menu where you can choose between saving the entire screen, a specific window, or a rectangular selection. Previously, you had to open the screenshot, screenshot app manually to do all this. You can also choose to show or hide the mouse pointer from this menu. What makes it more exciting is that you cannot only take screenshots but also record your skin screen directly from the new menu. Okay, so let's go to the updated core apps. The transition to Genome 42 offers several updates to Fedora's core applications. Many of these have been ported to GTK, GTK 4 and use the Libadwaita widget library for implementing Genome's human interface guidelines. So, um, the feature here is the example uh, updated core apps. Okay, and then for example, files allow you to sort files based on creation date and offers visual refinements like a customized headbar and renaming interface. The software interface now provides extra information about app updates while settings have also received interface changes. So as you can see here, this is the new text editor, the new updated or the new features of Fedora 36. The default text editor has been changed from GEdit to Text Editor, a new G GTK4 app. But you can still search and install GEdit if you wish. Okay, so let's move on to this last features feature of Fedora Linux 36. General improvements and other updates. Fedora 36 ships with an Ansible 5, the latest release of the tool. It breaks the engine into the Ansible core component and collection packages. Cockpit now offers a module for NFS administration and Samba shares, making the network file sharing more manageable. Developers will also enjoy the latest programming tools, including Podman 4.0, Golang 1.18, PHP 8.1, and Ruby 3.1. So that's all um, you can see or experience if you are going to download or install um, Fedora 36 Linux, and that will uh, you will experience that features if you have that operating system. So now let's go to the history versions and time of releases of Fedora 36. These are the versions of Fedora 36 through the years until it came up into a new one. So in today, 2022, Fedora Linux has released a latest and recent version which is the Fedora Linux 37. So because um, I pick and create this topic Fedora 36 I advanced it and that was the latest version and now um, um, the Linux 30, uh, Fedora 30, 37 has released on last month November so okay because uh, in the word Fedora 36 we can sense or we we knew that there have um, uh, 36 versions of Fedora Fedora so so we will tackle all the versions of Fedora Fedora Linux okay so let's go to Fedora Core 1 Fedora Core 1 was the first version of Fedora and was released on November 6 2003 it was codenamed Yarrow and Fedora Core 1 was based on Red Hat Linux some of the features in Fedora Core 1 included version 2.4.19 of the Linux kernel, version 2.4 of the Genome desktop environment, and version 3.1 of the K desktop environment. So Fedora Core 2. Fedora Core 2 was released on May 18, 2004, codenamed Tetna. Some of the new features in Fedora Core 2 included version 2.6 of the Linux kernel, 
version 2.6 of the Genome Desktop Environment, version 3.2 of the K-Desktop Environment, new uh, security-enhanced Linux, Z-Linux, and new XOR. Z-Linux was disabled by default due to concern that it radically altered the way that Fedora Core ran. X386 was replaced by the newer X.org, a merger of the previous official X11 R6 release, which additionally included a number of updates to XRender, XFT, XCursor, Phone Config Libraries, and other significant improvements. So, Fedora Core 3. Fedora Core 3 was released on November 8, 2004, codenamed Heidelberg. Some of the new features in Fedora 3 included the Mozilla Firefox web browser, support for index scripts, GNU GRUV bootloader, version 2.8 of the Genome desktop environment, version 3.3 of the K desktop environment, new Fedora Extras repository, and same Linux enabled by default. This release deprecated the Lilo bootloader in favor of GNU GRUV security enhanced Linux now had a new targeted policy which was less strict than the policy used in Fedora Core 2. Fedora Core 4. Fedora Core 4 was released on June 13, 2005 with the code name STENS. It shipped it with the Linux 2.6.11 KDE 3.4 and Genome 2.10. This version introduced the new clear looks which was inspired by the Rat Hat Blue Curve team. It also shipped with the OpenOffice.org 2.0 Office Suite, as well as Zen, a high performance and secure open source visualization framework. It also introduced support for the PowerPC, CPU architecture, and over 80 new policies for security enhanced Linux. Fedora Core 5. This core has release introduced specific artwork that define it. This is a trend that has continued in later Fedora versions. Fedora Core 5 was released on March 20, 2006 with the code name Bordeaux and introduced the Fedora Bubbles at artwork. It was the first Fedora release to include mono and tools built with it such as Beagle, F-Spot, and Tomboy. Also introduced new package management tools such as Pop and Pirot. It also was the first Fedora release not to include the long deprecated but kept for compatibility Linux threads replaced by the native FOSIX thread library. Fedora Core 6. Fedora Core 6 was released on October 24, 2006, codename SOD. This release introduced the Fedora DNA network, replacing the Fedora Bubbles artwork used in Fedora Core 5. The codename is derived from the villain General Sod from the Superman DC comic books. This version introduced support for the Compass Composition, Window Manager, and IGLX, a technology that enabled GL accelerated effects on a standard um, desktop. It shipped with Firefox 1.5 as a default web browser and small, a tool that allows users to inform developers about the hardware they use. Fedora Linux 7 Fedora Linux 7, codename Moonshine, was released on May 31, was the merging of the Red Hat Core and Community Extras repositories dropping core from the name Fedora Core and the new build system put in a place um, to manage those packages. This release under entirely new build and compose tools that enable the user to create fully customized Fedora distribution that could also include packages from any third party provider. There were three official spins available for Fedora 7. The number one is live, two live CDs, one for Genome and one for KDE. Number two, Fedora, a, D a DVD that includes all the major packages available at shipping. And the third, everything, simply an installation tree for use by YUM and internet installations. Fedora 7 features 
uh, Genome 2.18 and KDE 3.5, a new, a new team entitled Flying High, OpenOffice.org 2.2, and Firefox 2.0. This team included a complete refresh of the various icons and symbols. Fast user switching was fully integrated and enabled by default. Also, there were a number of updates to Selenux, including a new set troubleshoot tool for debugging Selenux security notifications, and a new comprehensive system config Selenux tool for fine tuning the Selenux setup. Fedora Linux 8. Federal Linux 8, codename Werewolf, was released on November 8, 2007. Some of the new features and updates in Fedora 8 included Pulse Audio, a sound daemon that allows different applications to control the audio. Fedora was the first distribution to enable it by default. System Config Firewall, a new firewall configuration tool that replaces System Config Security level from your previous releases. Codena, a tool that guides users using content under propriety or patent encumbered formats to purchase codecs from Fluendo. It is an optical component that may be uninstalled in favor of GStream. Codec plugins which are free or charged. IST, a project that attempts to bring OpenJDK to Fedora by replacing an encumbered code. Network Manager. Faster, more reliable connection, better security. Clearer, clearly, clearer display of wireless networks. Faster, more reliable connections, better security through the use of the keyring. Clearer display of wireless networks, better DBus integration. And last, better laptop support. Enhancement to the kernel to reduce battery load, disabling a background cron jobs when running on the battery, and additional wireless drivers. Fedora 8 also included a new desktop artwork entitled Infinity and a new desktop team called Nodoka. A unique feature of Infinity is that the wallpaper can change during the day to reflect the time of the day. In February 2008, a new XFCE Live CD spin was announced for the x86 and x86-64 architectures. The Live CD version uses the XFCE desktop environment which aims to be fast and lightweight while still being visually appealing and easy to use. Fedora Linux 9 Fedora Linux 9, codenamed Soul 4, was released on May 13, 2008. Some of the new features of Fedora 9 included Genome 2.22, KDE Plasma 4.0, which is the default interface as part of the KDE Spin, OpenJDK 6 has replaced IST, Package Kit is included as a front end to YUM and as the default package manager, One Second X allows the Windows system to perform a cold start from the command line in nearly one second. Similarly, shutdown of X should be as quick. Upstart introduced. Many improvements to the Anaconda installer. Among these features, it, it now supports resizing XT2, XT3, and NTFS file system and can create and install Fedora to encrypted file system. Firefox 3.0 Beta 5 is included in this release and the 3.0 package was released as an update the same day as the general release. World 5.10, which features a smaller memory footprint and other improvements, and data persistence in USB images. Fedora 9 featured a new artwork entitled Waves, which like Infinity and Fedora 8, changes the wallpaper to reflect the time of the day. Fedora Linux 10. Fedora Linux 10, codenamed Cambridge, was released on November 25, 2008. It plots the new solar artwork and its features include faster startup using Playmount instead of Red Hat graphical boot used in previous versions, support for EXT4 file system, sugar desktop environment, LXDE desktop environment, Genome 2.24, 
KDE plus 4.1 and open office dot org 3.0 Fedora Linux 11 Fedora Linux 11 code name Leonidas was released on June 9 2009 this was first release whose artwork is determined by the name instead of by users voting on teams some of the features in Fedora 11 are XT4 as a default file system, experimental BTRFS activated by I can't believe it's not BTR, command line option of boot up, faster boot up, aim at 20 seconds, GCC 4.4, Genome 2.26, KDE Plasma 4.2, 2.6.29 Linux kernel, Eclipse 3.4. NetBeans 6.5, NVIDIA kernel mod setting through the open source NoView graphics driver, Open up, Open Office 3.1, Python 2.6, XFCE to 4.6, XServer 1.6, and FGreen support for system and fingerprint readers. Fedora Linux 12, Fedora Linux 12 codename Constantin was released on November 17, 2009. Red Hat Enterprise, Linux 6, and other derivatives are based on Fedora 12. Some of the features in Fedora 12 are optimized performance, all software packages on 32-bit, architecture have been compiled for i686 system, improved webcam support, cheese, better video codec with a newer version of OG Theora, audio improvements, automatic bug reporting tool, uh, Bluetooth on demand, enhanced network manager to manage red broadband, many virtualization enhancement like KBM, Libreed, Libgas, FS, XT for use even for the boot partition, modeling interface, YAM Presto plugin for biting, Delta RPMs for updates by default, new compression algorithm, XZ and the new uh, LZMA format, in RPM packages for smaller and faster updates, experimental 3D support for ATI R600 to R700 cards, GCC 4.4, system top 1.0 with Eclipse integration, Genome 2.28, Genome Shell Preview, KDE Plasma 4.3, Plasma 4.4 was pushed to update its repository on February 27, 2010. 2.6.31 Linux Kernel, Kernel 2.6.32 was pushed to update its repository on February 27, 2010. Xserver 1.7 with multi pointer X MPN support, NetBeans 6.7, PHP 5.3. Perl 6 compiler. Fedora Linux 13. Fedora Linux 13 codename Godard was released on May 25, 2010. During early development, Fedora project leader Paul Frills anticipated looking at the beat and finish issues. We have tended to build a really tight ship with a Fedora, but now we want to make the decor in the cabins a little more sumptuous and polish the deck chairs and railings. Features of Fedora 13 include automatic printer driver installation, automatic language pack installation, redesign user account tool, color management collaborate monitors and scanners, experimental 3D support for NVIDIA video cards, a new way to install Fedora over the internet, SSD authentication for users, updates to NFS, inclusion of Sarafa open source edition, system rollback for the BTRFS file system, better system top probes, support the entire Java EE 6 spec in NetWin 6.8, KDE Plasma Pulse Audio integration, and new command line interface for network man. Fedora Linux 14 Fedora Linux 14 codename Lowlin was released on November 2, 2010. It was last to use the Genome 2 desktop environment, now fork as made. Genome 2 had been the desktop environment of the operating system since its inception in 2003. 
So the features of Fedora 14 included updated boost to the upstream 1.44 release, addition of the decompiler LDC and the standard runtime library Tango, concurrent release of Fedora 14 on the Amazon EC2 cloud, updated Fedora's Eclipse stack to Helios releases, updated Erlang to the upstream R14 release, replacement of live, uh, live JPEG with live JPEG Turbo, inclusion of BERT B2B tool, inclusion of Spice framework for BDI deployment, updates to uh, Rakudo star implement implementation of Perl 6, New NetBeans IDE updated to the 6.9 release, inclusion of if if me uh, if you me build system management tools, inclusion of a tech preview of the Genome shell environment and Python 2.7. Fedora Linux 15. Fedora Linux 15 code name Lovelock was released on May 24, 2011. Features of Fedora 15 include inclusion of Genome 3 desktop. LibreOffice replaced OpenOffice.org, inclusion of GNU Compiler Collection 4.6, responsibility for booting is taken up by system, LLB M5 replacing Mesa Software Process Rasterizer, inclusion of Box Grinder Software, support for dynamic firewalls with Firewall D, inclusion of PowerTap 2.x, um, adoption of consistent network device naming, better support for encrypted home directories. Fedora Linux 16 Fedora Linux 16 codename Bernie was released on November 8, 2011. Fedora 16 was also dedicated to the memory of Dennis Ritchie, who died about a month before the release. Some of the features of Fedora 16 include Linux kernel 3.1.0, inclusion of Genome 3.2.1 desktop, updated to latest KDE software compilation 4.7.2, JROB2 become the default bootloader, XT4 driver used for XT3 and XT2 file system, HAL daemon removed in favor of UDIS, UpPower, and LiveUDEV, Unification of the user interfaces for all problems reporting programs and mechanisms. Virtualization improvements including OpenStack and ALUS conductor. Fedora uses UID GIDS up through 999 for system accounts and enhancement cloud support including the Condor Cloud, Heka, FS, and PaceMaker. Fedora Linux 17. Fedora Linux 17 codename Beefy Miracle, which was released on May 29, 2012. Some of the features of Fedora 17 include Linux kernel 3.3.4, integrated UEFI support, inclusion of Genome 3.4 desktop, offering software rendering support for Genome shell, updated to the last KDE software compilation. 4.8.3, a new file system structure moving more things to USR. Removable disks are now mounted under run media due to a change in UDs. System login replace console kit, offering multi set improvements. Inclusion of live bird sandbox, bird manager now supports USB pass through. Services now use private temp directories to improve security. security. Fedora Linux 18. Fedora Linux 18 codename Spherical Cow was released on January 15, 2013. Some of the features of Fedora 18 include Linux kernel 3.6.10, support for UEFI Secure Boot. A rewrite of the Anaconda insta installer, a new system upgrade utility called FedUp, default desktop upgraded to, to Genome 3.6.3, updated to KDE Plasma 4.9 and XFCE 4.10, inclusion of Mate and Cinnamon desktops, 
better advi- uh, better active directory support through free IPAB3, support for network manager, hotspots, support for 256 color terminals by default, offline system updates and utilizing system and package kit, better cloud computing support with the inclusion of eucalyptus, heat, and open stock also. And the last firewall D replaces system config firewall as default. Fedora Linux 19. Fedora Linux 19 codename Scroll Digers Cat was released on July 2, 2013. Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 and other derivatives are based on Fedora 19. Some of the features of uh, Fedora 19 include further improvements to the new Anaconda installer, a new initial setup application, support to application checkpointing through CRUI, default desktop upgraded to Genome 3.8, updated to KDE Plasma 4.10 and Mate 1.6, MariaDB has replaced my SQL, GCC has been updated to version 4.8, RPM Package Manager has been updated to version 4.11, 4.11 includes the new developer's assistant tools, numerous upstream improvements to firewall and system, and improved cloud support including better compatibility with Amazon EC2. Fedora Linux 20 Fedora Linux 20 codename Hainsbug was released on December 17, 2013. Some of the features of Fedora 20 include Genome 3.10, ARM as pri- primary architecture in addition to x86 and x86-64, replacement to the Genome package kit front ends with a new application installer tentatively n- named Genome Software. Fedora Linux 21 Fedora Linux 21, the first version without a codename, was released on December 9, 2014. Genome 3.14 Fedora now has three flavors for variety specialized set of pre-installed packages depending on use purpose, workstation, server, and desktop. Fedora Linux 22 Fedora Linux 22 was released on May 26, 2015. Major features include Genome 3.16 with a completely redesigned notification system and automatically hiding scroll box. DNF replacing YAM as the default package manager. The default display server for the Genome display manager being YLAN instead of XR. Fedora Linux 23 Fedora Linux 23 was re- released on November 3, 2015. It offers Genome 3.18, it comes with LibreOffice 5, the Fedora release updater, FedUp was integrated into DFF. It uses py- uh, Python 3, specifically Python 3.4.3, as an operating system's default Python implementation. Fedora Linux 24 Fedora Linux 24 was released on June 21, 2016. Some notable system-wide changes are the use of Genome 3.20, GCC 6, and Python 3.5. Fedora Linux 25 Fedora Linux 25 was released on November 22, 2016. Some notable changes are the use of the Wayland Display System, Unicode 9, PHP 7.0, NodePoint, NodePoint JS 6, and IFAS Emoji Typing. Fedora Linux 26 Fedora Linux 26 was released on July 11, 2017 Fedora Linux 27 Fedora Linux 27 was released on November 14, 2017 The Workstation Edition of Fedora 27 features Genome 3.26 Both the display and network configuration panels have been updated along with the overall settings panel appearance improvement. The system search now shows more results at once, including the system actions. This release also features LibreOffice 5.4. Fedora Linux 28. Fedora Linux 28 was released on May 1, 2018. Red Hat Enterprise 
Linux 8 and other derivatives are based on Fedora 28. Notable new features, a modular, modular software repository curated third-party software repositories. Fedora Linux 29 Fedora Linux 29 was released on October 20, 2018. Notable new features, Fedora modularity across all variants, a new optional package repository called Modular, also referred to as the Application Stream or AppStream, Genome 3.30, ZRAM for ARM images, Fedora Scientific Background Images. Fedora Linux 30 Fedora Linux 30 was released on April 30, 2019. Fedora Linux 31 Fedora Linux 31 was released on October 29, 2019. Fedora Linux 32 Fedora Linux 32 was released on April 28, 2020. Fedora Linux 33 Fedora Linux 33 was released on October 27, 2020. Fedora 33 Workstation Edition was the first version of the operating system to default to using DTRFS as its default file system and replacement uh, uh, of a swap partition with Zera. It featured version 3.38 of the Genome Desktop Environment and Linux Kernel 5.8.15. 5 For the first time since version 7, Fedora defaulted to a slideshow background for PNG images of Earth from space. The changes who according to the time of day. GNU Nano became the default text editor for the command line interface in place of the Fedora IoT. While the previous available as a Fedora spin was promoted to an official edition of an operating system. Fedora Linux 34 Fedora Linux 34 was released on May, April 27, 2021. Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9 and other derivatives are based on Fedora 34. It includes Genome 40, file system compression by default, exclusive use of Pipewire, and defaulting KDE Plasma to Wayland. Fedora Linux 35. Fedora Linux 35 was released on November 2, 2021. Fedora Linux 36, which are the topic for today, is released on May 10, 2022. Fedora Linux 37, Fedora Linux 37 was released on November 15, 2022. So, of all versions of Fedora, um, 30, Fedora 36 is our main topic, but because uh, it is a recent uh, update. Uh, they have a release of new version of Fedora, which is Fedora Linux 37. So now let's discuss the security in Fedora 36. Fedora ships with the Z Linux module, which is short for Security Enhanced Linux, compared to App Armor present in Ubuntu. Z Linux provides more granular security controls to isolate isolate applications from each other. However, it should be noted that this also increases the complexity of cell Linux. Fedora is the first mainstream operating system to provide Mac or mandatory access control based security using cell Linux enabled by default. Cell Linux was developed in partnership with the NSA or National Security Agency, a US-based government security organization and Red Hat with developers from projects such as Kintu and Debian. Security enhanced Linux protects users and process by watching all actions on the system. From opening a file to using a socket, users may write their own cell Linux security policies according to their risk tolerance. By default, Fedora runs a targeted security policy that protects network daemons that have a higher chance of being attacked. If compromised, these programs are extremely limited in the time in the damage they can do, even if the root account is cracked. For example, a fake key is protected in four different ways. 
the executable for APK HTTPD is protected at compile time by PI and exec shield. The executable binary file of the system is protected by ELF hardening. Finally, cell Linux policies are in place so that if HTTPD is cracked, it can only append to the APK logs and mangle content in specific directories. It cannot roam around home directories or otherwise in, um, interact with the rest of the system. So that's all the information you need to know about Perdora Linux 36 version that may help but that may help in your computer experience using this operating system. So if you are going to plan to install or download uh, Fedora Linux 36, I think you must download it because of its um, features that will help you in um, experience a good and better um, experience in using this operating system. And it will be a bonus if you have plenty of experience in other operating system because Linux is one of the most um, good operating system and has a uh, better security of all an operating system. So if you are going to download or install it, um, I hope you will. Uh, this video will help you that a guide in Fedora Linux 36. So that's all and thank you.